Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Naruto Battle Climax 2018, the Kanoichi Throwdown Finals. We're gonna finish it off today, uh, here now, and uh, our first match is gonna be Rin versus Serata. So without further ado, let's get right into the match, shall we? Alright. You know I can't start an episode without a good cup of coffee. Let's get it on! Alright, so Serata starts off strong, throwing some kunai there. Rin's charging up. She's got a she's got a stock. She's using that shield uh, type of uh, type ability. It kinda looks like the full moon, doesn't it? It's really pretty. Alright, so uh, Rin's got Serata in a corner now. Serata's definitely on the defensive. Ooh, a heavy hit. Who would have thought uh, Sir, uh, Rin would have monster strength? It seems like she does. I don't know if that's from the. I don't know if that's accurate to the series or not. I have no idea. All right, Serata's definitely on the uh, defensive there. Oh, and a loss for Serata. So uh, surprising, actually. I thought that was gonna go to Serata, but Rin got that one. Round one goes to Rin. And here we are again. Oh god. Why is it always that Rin rhymes with everything? Rin rhymes with win again. Finn. Oh, cool. Some ninja tool usage there. Serata using the shot and gun. Uh oh. Rin's got him to the tail beast state, but only temporarily. Rin taking the lead again, Serata on the defensive. Doesn't look like there's much Serata can do unless she wants to really get going with her fire style. She needs to get some stuff going in on there. And that, that shield, I really want to see if that shield that Rin keeps using can block heavy attacks. I really want to see that. I'll have to try to use it as often as possible whenever I reach her in arcade. She seems like she'd actually be really fun to use. You know, for a player. They all are, really. Oh, and there it goes. Serata's down. Rin goes on to the, to the finals. So I'll get the next match set up, and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back with the next match. Tamari versus Fu. Let's see what these two fighters can do. Oh, God, more rhyming. No. <laughs> uh, I got to stop rhyming. Let's see, if I had to give it to anybody in this match, I'd probably go with Fu on this one. Fu would definitely be my favorite to take this one. She's got more of a, um, she's got more of an all-around uh, style of fighting, at least in the game. You know, good mid-range, good close range, good long range. Well, actually, I don't know about her long range, because I'm thinking about her in Tail Beast form for her long range. Oh, that's a really strong attack. God, that takes half a bar. I think that's her two stock jutsu. Looks like uh, Fu's definitely on the, uh, the offensive here. She's actually really winning against Tamari. Tamari's got to pull. Actually, no, they're, they're getting pretty close. Uh oh. There's the miss jutsu. Not really sure what that does, if it's in Fu's benefit or what have you. It might make uh, some of her jutsu stronger, but I'm not really sure. Tamari trying to fight back now. Doesn't seem to have any trouble finding Fu, even though the. The mist is uh, is there. Uh oh. And now Fu's gone. Uh, and it's over. <laughs> Dang, that's one for Fu. Okay, so Fu te uh, Fu definitely took the victory in that first one. They were close for a minute there, but uh, like I said, that that good all-around style of fighting is definitely working with Fu's uh, advantage, helping her a lot there. Tamara going with the long range. Fu just sort of ignoring some of her attacks. Not really phased by them. Not like a glitch, but just just powering right through them. Okay, Tamari pulling, pulling a slight edge here. These two fighters seem pretty much evenly matched at this point. Fu went for the two-stock jutsu. It looks like Tamari interrupted it. That would have been a very heavy hit. Could have made, it, uh, could have made the difference in the whole match. Tamari trying to keep Fu at a range there, but also moving forward herself. If I was Tamari, I'd probably stay a bit further back. Fu with the uh, first level of the fog jutsu again. I'm not sure. Mist, fog, what have you. Smoke, who knows. Up, oh, Tamari pulling off some more of that wind jutsu. 
Fu in with the physical moves. Dealing some heavy damage. Combo hits. Looks like Fu's gonna take this one. She's in Jinchuriki form. Tamari in midair charging. <laughs> Very good for her. Three stocks, awakening, and a huge wind blast by Tamari, but it doesn't look like it took. Is Fu immune to wind in that form? Nope, nope, she's taking damage, but not nearly enough. Can Tamari pull this off? Just in the nick of time. One more hit by Fu, and this could be all over. These two, oh, they're, they're so close. Oh, and Tamari pulls it off. Wow, that's good. I get to go, we get to go to the third round. I thought that was going to be over too soon. All right. Get in there, you two. Uh, Fu already with one, um, with one stock of Chakra. Tamari at zero. Fu's got the advantage in terms of Chakra. The two characters, both about evenly damaged. No limit on the time. Just a fight to the death. A fight to the KO. <laughs> oh, looks like Fu's using her strong jutsu there. I like Fu's jutsu. Tamari getting some combos in on there. Fu using uh, her, like, poison cloud, but definitely at the wrong range. Not hitting at all. Tamari with two stocks. Gonna use it. There goes the two stocks hit. A good amount of damage against Fu. Tamari now at zero. Fu at one. Fu could charge for a little bit, go to the Jinchuriki state and try to try to even things out a bit or possibly fi or possibly finish Tamari. She's getting some damage now, but Tamari doesn't have too much further to go before she can win. Fu definitely taking the advantage now here though. That Jinchuriki mode making all the difference here. Or not or you know, tail beast mode. Oh, and Tamari puts her down. Uh, an upset stunning victory. Tamari takes the cake. That's Tamari in the finals up against it's gonna be looks like uh tamari versus kurana or no let's do ren versus kuranai and then the winner of that will fight uh fight, fight tamari okay so i'll get ren versus kuranai set up and we'll be right back all right folks and we're back with ren versus kuranai ironically enough uh, Kuranai being the next character to use uh, by me in arcade mode. So, without further delay, let's see what these two fighters are all about. Rin versus Kuranai. And the winner of this match will go up against, I believe, Tamari, and that will be the champion. No losers bracket in this one since it's, uh, you know, it's uh, not quite as uh, popular of a tournament. It's not really a mainstay of the channel, so I don't think we'll do any losers bracket. We'll just have a champion. Then maybe someday we'll have another season if another game is ever released. But we'll have to wait and see on that. Both characters charging now. Two stocks, eight, three stocks. Both characters at exactly the same amount of... Holy crap, that was actually really cool! I, I can't even describe that. That was really cool. They both charged to exactly three stocks and used like an ultimate. And then uh, Kur and I used a like an illusion jutsu, that one where she locks you up in the tree to avoid a huge blast from Rin. Both characters evenly matched now. It's coming down to a Kurenai getting real serious here. Dropping back behind her plant, but it doesn't block the uh, kur uh, the Kunai bomb from Rin. Both characters charging up now. Rin using a special. Oh, but she gets hit by the trap, the uh, flower trap from Kurenai. Both characters at zero stocks now. Kurenai charging up to one. Using a jutsu. Gonna try to catch Rin again. Illusion after illusion. Rin takes hit after hit. Rin's on the receiving end now. Definitely caught in a combo by Kuranai. She's gonna need a miracle to pull this one off. Kuranai substitutes. Rin pushes back. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we're getting somewhere. I like these two. This is a good fight. This is a good fight. Ooh! And Rin with the heavy hits, knock, knocking Kuranai up against the cor corner. Kuranai getting ready with the. Um, I believe that was a counter, but Rin didn't fall for it. Oh, and there's the illusion. Rin takes damage, and that's it. Um, now to round two. Kuranai takes it, but just barely. Fighters, set up, get ready for battle. Throw down, let's dance, go for broke. Kuranai substitutes. Rin knocks back. Rin throws a bomb. Kuranai knocks back. And there's the shield again. Not sure if it can block any heavy jutsu, but we'll have to find out about that later whenever I get to Rin to use her. Oh, and Kuranai goes for a sweeping leg headlock throw. <laughs> I don't know what to call that. 
I hope it has an actual name. I don't think you can do that in real life, though. Oh! And then Rin, with some of her, uh, specific character jutsu there. Oh, and she's caught in the trap. Kurunai gets hit. Devastating uppercuts. Rin trying to keep her in a sort of a, an aerial juggle there, but not really pulling it off. Ooh, Kurunai with a good follow-up there. These two characters about evenly matched. Rin a little bit further ahead. Kurunai definitely on the receiving end this time. Ooh, and there's that uh, shield-like jutsu. It looks like it actually does a it does a slight amount of damage and pushes back if you use it at point blank range. Kurunai barely with any health left. Definitely in trouble. Oh, and she's knocked out. We're going to the third round, folks. I gotta get me a swig of coffee. I wish it was a swig of beer instead. All right, Kuro and I getting ready for a counter. Rin doesn't. Oh, and she did fall for it, unfortunately. Rin with the heavy hits. Some, uh, I guess, water shield there for the uh, charging. Rin with three stocks and a heavy jutsu. Oh, a good dodge by Kuro and I. Let's call that a dodge. Let's say she totally did it on purpose. Ooh, heavy hits by Kuro and I. Definitely wanting to pull this one off. Some big illusion type jutsu there. Oh. Kurunai substitutes. Rin falls for the faint. Rin getting some explosions and tools using. Oh, Kurunai gets another hit. Uh, combos in, going in there. Armor break though. Rin could awaken now if she so chooses. And I think that would put. What what tail beast form would that put her in? Would she? Excuse me. Would she just be a, in a cloak state, or would it let her go full nine tails? I'll have to find out. Or no, I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Three tails. She's the three tail beast. I, I got her mixed up with Naruto's mom for a second there. Terrible, terrible me. Terrible me. Okay, Rin's definitely. Ooh, she's in trouble. Kurenai's gonna try to finish it with a combo. Ooh, and there it is. Rin falls for that final feint. Uh, Kurenai goes on to the um, the finals. We're gonna find out the champion. That's gonna be Kurenai versus Tamari. I'll get that set up, and we'll be right there. All right, folks, and we're back with our final round. Kurenai versus Tamari to determine the champion. Who's the strongest Kanoichi in the land? At least in this video game, for this one instance, for this one season. <laughs> it's uh, it's tough, but you know, running tournaments like this and realizing that it's never really a definitive, de uh, a, never really a definitive result, you know, as to who wins. All right, we've got these two characters coming in now. Both of them. Let's pretend that they realize that this is for all the nuts and bolts. <laughs> no, that's Robot Arena too. This is this is for all the the honor. Tamari with three ch oh with three stocks. Kuro and I using some heavy jutsu though, keeping her on the defensive. Tamari's gonna need an opening for a, for that good strong three uh, three stock jutsu. I'd use it now. Oh man, Tamari holding it that three stocks. There she goes with her ultimate. And a heavy bit of damage does it deal. Kuro and I now on the uh, losing end of uh, in terms of health. And oh, this might be it. Is it going to be it? Tamari's caught. Oh, and an ultimate jutsu. Good combo. But Kuro and I takes, takes, uh, takes another hit there. And Tamari finishes it. We're going around two here. That was very close. I really like that. That was a good fight. See the Rin versus Kuranai and the Tamari versus Kuranai. These are good fights toward the finish. Like once we get, you know, down to the the meat and potatoes of all the best characters, it really gets nice and exciting. Tamari doing her best there. Kuranai trying to get in close. She's got to close that gap if she wants to have an advantage against Tamari. She's got to got to get in there with those Genjutsu. Uh, holding down for the counter, and it takes, but she's just a little bit short of the connection there. Tamari keeping her at range with those uh, long and mid-range attacks. Looks like Tamari's all powered up now. Her fan dance is going to do even more damage, I suppose. Oh, oh, but, ah, and now Kurenai has lured her into the corner, and she's closed the gap. Can she, can she close the gap in terms of health now that she has Tamari at close range? Of course, it looks like Tamari is also effective at long or close range, and she finishes it. That's 2-0 Tamari. Oh, man. And there we have it, your champion.
Tamari! <laughs> oh, man. Well, all right. There we have it. Uh, the winner of the battle, the winner of the tournament. Um, that is conclusion. That is the conclusion for the uh, uh, Naruto Konoha... No, no, not Konoha. Naruto Battle Climax 2018 Mugen uh, Konoichi Throwdown Tournament. Tamari! Huh. Well, I definitely didn't see that one coming. I thought for sure um, that from the very beginning of the tournament it was going to be somebody like uh, it was going to be somebody like uh, maybe Sakura or or um, who, who else was in here that was a uh, kind of a surprise Chio I really thought she'd go a lot farther um, where where is she Kaguya Kaguya I thought she'd go farther too uh, very strange but yeah Tamari not a bad pick though I mean she is a she is a Jonin in, in that part of the series so as a, actually, she's probably higher than a Joni. She's probably like a special Joni because she's guarding Gara. But let me know if I'm wrong. But anyway, uh, a good uh, a good winner for the tournament. Definitely a good decision. Uh, I'm glad it turned out that way. Tamari's a pretty cool character. So I hopefully you enjoyed the tournament. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Let me know if you have any suggestions for future tournaments or future series. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.